Hey, this is Mongolian Mindset, and today we're going to be doing um, analysis of Michael Jackson. Um, we got a lot of requests to do Lionel Messi. Um, if we get seven likes on this video, we will do the breakdown of Lionel Messi. The reason why Lionel Messi is a little bit tougher, he, he doesn't have any interviews where he primarily speaks English. So if you guys want us to do that, give us seven likes, and we will do that. But on to the real fun. So, personality... Personality database, our sworn enemy, uh, has Michael Jackson as an ISFP with 830 votes, INFP with 86 votes, and INFJ with 25 votes. So we're going to do the analysis of Michael Jackson. We'll see if personality database is correct or not. We don't think highly of personality database because they don't use the right materials, Linda Barron's material. So pick it up, find your personality type. So let's go ahead and start this. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Your old house. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Well, how nervous are you right now? <laughs> how what? Uh, how nervous are you right now? Mm, I'm not nervous at all, actually. You really aren't. No, I never get nervous. You don't? No. No, not even for your first interview and it's live around the world? I thought you'd be a little nervous, but that's no. great, because if you're not nervous, I won't be nervous. <laughs> I just wanted to let the world know that uh, when we agreed to do this interview, um, you said that you would be willing to talk to me about everything, and we haven't discussed one single question that's going to be uh, asked here tonight. Just wanted to make that that's right. very true. Very true. When we were watching, um, I was watching you in the background there, watching the video of you in the early years, did that bring back memories for you? <laughs> it made me giggle. Yeah. Because I haven't seen that footage in a long time. Yeah. And it bring back memories, yes. Okay. Me and my brother. Okay, so um, what we're going to start out with, we're going to try to figure out, is he direct or informative? Informative. You guys know direct people are specific, just uh, concise and to the point. Informing people beat around the bush are passive. Don't take their role in the conversation. Give extra information and let other people really decide what to do with that information. Um, we have initiating um, versus responding. Responding people are introverted. They stay on topic. They um, give a very, like, wait till someone says something to them. And then they'll respond. Uh, they'll generally think about it a little bit. And they won't initiate. So they won't like cut the other person off. Or they won't uh, change the topic or anything. Those are usually extroverted tendencies. So we're going to be checking to see if we can get that really quick. It's my love dearly. Yeah. And it's just a wonderful moment for me. Yeah. So I saw you laugh when you saw you. When he was talking about right here. I, I think he's talking about his it past. Made me giggle. Yeah. And when he's talking about his past, he says it makes him giggle. So he has comfort in remembering the past. So that's usually a introverted sensation thing. But introverted sensation is attached to extroverted intuition. So we're going to put down a point for SI. He loved the past. Look at him. All giggly. It made me giggle. Because I haven't seen that footage in a long time. Yeah. And it bring back memories, yes. And it brings back memories, yeah, my brothers, see? Who I love dearly. Yeah. And it's just a wonderful moment for me. Yeah. I saw you laugh when you saw yourself singing Baby, Baby, Baby. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. James Brown, I, I think James Brown is a genius, you uh -huh. know, when he's with the famous flames, which is unbelievable. And I used to watch him on television. And I used to get angry at the, ca the cameraman because whenever he would really start to dance, they would be on a close-up, and I couldn't see his feet. Uh -huh. So I would throw things. I'd be angry. I said, show him, show him, so I could watch and learn. Okay, so, so he was a big so, um, the, way, the way he's recanting that is very first person. So that's another indicative point for S-I, uh, S-I-N-E. So we put down another point for S-I-N-E. Very first person. It's like he's almost experiencing it. Mentor for you. Phenomenal. Obviously. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. And who else was? Jackie Wilson, who I adore as an entertainer. And of course, music, uh, Motown, yeah. the Bee Gees, who are brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, I just love great music. So, 
when I look at those tapes of you, and heaven knows that putting this together, I think I've seen every piece of video ever done of you, and watching those tapes, when especially in the younger years, you seem to really come alive on stage. There's something going on with you when you were a little boy on stage. Were you as happy off stage as you appeared to be on stage? Well, on stage for me was home. Mm -hmm. I was most comfortable and still most comfortable on stage. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about where he's comfortable. Um, SI users usually talk about comfort a lot. Um, comfort is a big thing to an SI user. So we're gonna put down another point for SI any. We already got three points for SI any. Once I got off stage, I was like very sad. Really? Yes. And sad from the beginning. Sad since it first started. Since lonely, the lonely, sad, having to face with popularity and all of that. Uh, there were times when I had great times with my brothers, pillow fights and things. But I was always, I used to always cry from loneliness. You did? Yes. Beginning at what age? Oh, very little. Eight, nine. When you all first became famous? Yes. So it wasn't um, what it appeared to be to the rest of the world, all of us. I remember I was a little black child, wanted to marry Jackie Jackson, your brother. <laughs> so, I mean, to all of us, we thought this yeah. was the most wonderful thing in the world. Who, who wouldn't have wanted that life? It is wonderful. And it can, it, there is a lot of wonderment in being famous. I mean, you travel the world and you see things, you meet people, you go places. It's, it's great. But then there's the other side. There's, uh, which I'm not complaining, there's lots of rehearsal, uh, and you have to put a lot of your time, mm -hmm. give up yourself a lot. Do you feel, um, I talked to Suzanne DePass the other day, and Suzanne DePass worked with you all for a long time yes. at Motown, and yes. really groomed you all and found the outfits for the yes. Ed Sullivan show. And Suzanne had some, had some interesting theories about your childhood. We talked about whether or not it was really lost, was it? Well... Especially now, I, I come to realize, and then... Uh, so I, what I'm noticing about Michael Jackson, he's very passive. He talks very passive. Um, and he seems to be responding. He's not initiating. He's not changing topics. He's responding to everything that she's got. So we're just going to put an asterisk aside of um, informative and responding. We're going to go a little bit more to go ahead and cement those. But he's, he's not specific, concise, and to the point. He's very passive. That's... Uh, a byproduct of being informative sometimes. Um, and he's responding, he's staying on topic, um, waiting till she asks something. So yeah, let's keep going. I would do my schooling, which was three hours with a tutor. Then right after that, you know, I'd go to the recording studio and record. And I'd record for hours and hours till it's time to go to sleep. So uh, it'd be nighttime. And I remember uh, going to the recording studio there was a, a park across the street okay, and i see so, all the so children i'm gonna put playing. down another s-i-n-e there he's talking about remembering again he loves to remember look at him light up like a, a freaking christmas tree For that you know i'd go to the recording studio What's and doing? record and i'd record for hours and hours till it's time to go to sleep so uh, it'd be nighttime and i remember uh Going to the recording studio, there was a, a park across the park street, across and I see street. all the children playing. Very vivid. They'd be rooting and making noise, and I would cry. It'd make me sad that I would have to go and work instead. Okay, so I'm going to put down the point for S-I-N-E. Um, uh, that's all internal sensation right there. Uh, people attach uh, um, memories to sensations, so um, he is primarily doing that, so he's... A, it looks like an S-I-N-E user. We already got four points. Next point, we're going to go ahead and take that off the board and go on ahead and start uh, subtracting types. I wanted to go to this, uh, to hear what Suzanne had to say about your child. Sure. And we're going to look at some pictures of you as a little boy. Okay. With the child. And you see him, he's primarily responding. I'm almost ready to go ahead and put responding down. He lost the ability to be a kid before his 12th birthday. Michael Jackson really was never able to go anywhere without a bodyguard, or without a limousine, or without, you know, people to protect him from his success. No need to worry. To not ever be able to just go out to the park and look up at the sky and, and to not be able to go to the movies, I just think that he has paid a tremendous price. With the child. 
said it was a heavy price. I want to know how big of a price it was, losing your childhood or having this kind of life. Well, you don't get to do things that other children get to do. You know, the simple things that they so much take for granted. Mm -hmm. Having friends and slumber parties and buddies and just hanging out. There was none of that for me. I didn't have any friends when I was little. My brothers were my friends. Was there ever a place where, because, you know, children, you know, I remember I had playing games and talking to myself and playing with my dolls and all that. Was there, and I think every child needs a place to escape into a child's world into a child's imagination was there ever a time you could do that no and that is why i think now because i didn't have it then i compensate for that really i mean people wonder why i always have children around because i i find the thing that i never had through them you know disneyland amusement parks mm -hmm. uh, arcade games i adore all that stuff because when i was little it was always work 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 from one concert to the next if it wasn't concert, it was the recording studio. If it wasn't that, it was TV shows or interviews or picture sessions. Mm -hmm. It was always something to do. Did you feel, uh, Smokey Robinson has said this about you and so have many other people, that you were like an old soul in a little body? When I was, I remember hearing that all the time when I was little. They used to call me a 45-year-old midget wherever I went. Mm -hmm. I used to always hear that and I just would hear it and I never thought about it. Just like when... Some people say, when you, when you were little and you started to sing, did you know you were that good? I said, I never thought about it. I just did it and it came out. I never thought about it, really. So here you were, mm. Michael Jackson, with hits. You all had so many hits, uh, four hits in a row. And you were crying because you couldn't be like other kids. Well, I, I, I love show business, mm -hmm. and I, I, I still love show business. But then you, there are times you want to play and have some fun, and that... That part did make me sad. I remember one time we were getting ready to go to South America. You hear him talking about and everybody was time. packed up in the cars, ready everybody to leave and go. And, planes about to and I hid. And I was so he's talking about it from a first uh, first person perspective. So um, that's the fifth point for S I N E. So we're gonna go ahead and take S I N E off the board. He's an S I N E user. Um, personality database. You're already wrong. I S F P's. All right, S E N I users. So if he's an S I N E user, he's not an ISFP person. Not a database. You're already wrong. I was crying while I was hiding because I really did not want to go. I wanted to play. I did not want to go. Were your brothers jealous of you when you started getting all the attention? Not that I know of. No. Okay, so what I'm also going to do felt as is go ahead and take responding off the table as well. Um, responding. So he is introverted. Um, so he can only be a few types now. Um, the responding people are ISTJs, um, ISTPs, INTJs, and INFJs. And we have the responding informative types, which are ISFJs, uh, ISFPs, INTP, and uh, INFP. Okay, and because he's an S-I-N-E user and we found that out, he can't be an INFJ, he can't be an INTJ, he can't be an ISTP, and he can't be an ISFP. Okay, um, and the reason why is because those are S-E and I users, and they usually have trouble recanting memories. Um, they can't be able to recant memories as well as an S-I user because the internal sensations are locked onto those memories. So, um, yeah. Sense of jealousy. Um, let me think. No, no, no. I think they, they were always happy for me that I could do certain things, you know, and, uh, but I've never felt jealousy among them, no. Do you feel that they're jealous of you now? I wouldn't think so. I, I don't think so, no. No? What's your relationship like with your family? Are you all close still? I love my family very much. I wish I could see them a little more often than I do. But we understand because we're a show business family and we all work. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have family day when we all get together. We'll pick a person's house. It might be Jermaine's house. Or okay, so I'm ready to say that he's informative. And the reason why he's informative is because um, in the conversation, he's coming off very passive. And that's a byproduct of being uh, informative. Um, direct people, byproduct, come off very forceful. Um, 
so he's coming off informative with that. He's also giving a lot of extra information. Like right now, he's giving extra information about uh, his family or whatnot. And he seems to be like kind of like vague and beating around the bush. He's not really uh, pushing anything in the room. Uh, so I'm ready to say that he's informative, which would eliminate ISTJ. And that would just leave us ISFJ, INTP, and INFP. So that's what we got so far. So we have he is SINE user. He is informative language. And he's responding. He's introverted. Okay, so, um, yeah. Um, and like we said, you can go in here and, like, check a little chart here. Um, my chart's not coming up, but <clears throat> chart's not coming up, but let's keep going here. Ellen's house or Tito's house, and everybody will come together and we'll we'll fellowship and love each other and talk and catch up on who's doing what and you know. You all aren't all upset about Latoya and Latoya's book and the things that Latoya has said about the family. Well, I haven't read Latoya's book. Uh -huh. um, I just know I love my sister dearly. I, I love Latoya. I know I and love I my sister will. dearly, and I always will. Let me put a point down for TEFI. Knows what he loves. And I always see her as the happy, loving Latoya that I remember mm -hmm. growing up with. So I couldn't completely answer on that. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that th some of the things that she's been, been saying are true? I couldn't answer, Oprah. I, I, I ha honestly, mm -hmm. I haven't read the book. That's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. So let's let's go back to when you were growing up and feeling all of this. Well, I guess it's a sense of anguish. I guess so. There's no, there was nobody for you to play with other than your brothers. You never had slumber parties. You never, 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 no. So I'm wondering for you, being this cute little boy that everybody adored and everybody who comes up to you, they're you know pulling your cheeks and how cute and this child prodigy really, how adolescence affected you? Because I, I call, you know, adolescence going through that, that duck stage where everything's yeah. awk, 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 awkward, you yeah. know? And I'm wondering if when you started to go through adolescence, having been, you know, this child superstar, yeah. did that have a, was that a particularly difficult time for you? Very, very, very difficult, really. Yes, yes. Because how so? I think every child star suffers through this period because you're not the cute and charming child that you were and you start to grow. And they want to keep you young forever and little forever. Who's they? The public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, nature takes its course. Mm -hmm. And uh, it does. <laughs> and I, I, I had pimples so badly and it made me so shy. I used to not look at myself. I'd wash my face in the dark. I wouldn't want to look in the mirror. Really? And my father teased me. Okay, so I'm going to put a point down for TFI. Yeah. I had pimples so badly, and it made me so shy. I used to not look at myself. I'd wash my face in the dark. I wouldn't want to look in the mirror. Really? And my father teased me, and I just hated it. I cried every day because of it. And your I father hated would it. tease you about your yes, pimples? Yes, he would tell me I'm ugly. Your father would say, yes, he would. Sorry, Joseph. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put down a point right there for affiliative. Sorry, Joseph. He's apologizing already. Like, what the hell? Um, it's crazy. He's already, I guess his dad is some type of authority, and he's apologizing to him for saying something, I guess, that could hurt his image. What's your relationship like with him? <clears throat> I love my father, but I don't know him. Mm hmm I love my father. Are you angry with him I for doing that? Mm, very interesting. And I think that's pretty cruel, actually. Am I angry with him? Uh, because adolescence is hard enough without a, a parent difficult. telling you that you're ugly. Yeah, it's very difficult. Uh -huh. Am I angry with him? Sometime I do get angry, yes. I, I don't know him the way I'd like to know him. My mother's wonderful. To me, mm -hmm. she's perfection. To me, my mother's perfection, I... so I'm going to put down a point for TEFI. Yeah. Giving her a title. Could understand my father. And so let's talk about these teen years. What is that when you started to go inside yourself? Because obviously you haven't spoken to any of to the world for, you know, 14 years, I think is your last televised interview. 
So you went inside, you became a recluse, and that was on purpose. Was it to, was it to protect yourself? I felt that there wasn't anything important for me to say. And I, mm -hmm. those were very sad, sad years for me. And, uh, and why so sad? Because on stage we see you performing, you're getting your Grammys, you're, why so sad? Oh, there's a lot of sadness about my past life and, you know, adolescence and my father and all of those things. It just made me very, very, very sad. So he would tease you, make fun of you? Yes. Would he, did he ever beat you? Yes, he did. Yes. And that was difficult to take, getting yes. beaten and going on stage and performing. Yes. And why would he beat you? Because he, he saw me, he wanted me to, I guess maybe, I don't know if I was his golden child or whatever it was. Um, some may call it a strict disciplinarian or whatever, but he was a, very strict, very He's giving him a title again? Uh, strict disciplinarian, so I'm putting another one for TEFI. Hard, you know, very stern, mm -hmm. and just a look would scare you, you know, and... Were you talking about just a look would scare you, so I'm going to put down a point for S-I-N-E, but we already know that, that he's an S-I-N-E user. Um, that's attached to internal sensation, just a look, you know, would scare him. That's attached to an S-I-N-E. Scared of him? very frightened. There's been times when he'd come to see me and I would get sick. Well, I'd start to uh, regurgitate. Okay, so he's talking about another S-I-N-E experience. Um, he has such a bad internal sensation from his father that uh, he would get sick from seeing him. It's another internal sensation, but we know he is. Um, but we're just going to track down that point, though. As a child or as an adult? Both. Both. He ne he's never heard me say this. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. Like I say, he's appealing to the authority that who is his dad um, or someone that he sees even though he's a grown man. So I'm putting down a point for affiliative there. Let me check in, let me make sure we are. Okay. So I'm put down a point for affiliative there. Well, I mean, I, I suppose that everybody has to take responsibility for what they've done in life. and. Your father is one of those people who also has to take responsibility. But I do love him. Yes, I, I do. And I am him. forgiving. And I am yes, forgiving. You know, I don't. I don't go but around. But can with you really shit. forgive? I say this on my show all the time. Can you really forgive if you haven't gotten angry? If you haven't dealt with how you really feel? I don't know if you can go from having been abused to forgiveness. I do forgive. There's so much garbage and so much trash that's written about me. Mm -hmm. It is so untrue. Mm -hmm. They're complete lies. And those are some of the things I want to talk about. The press has made up so much. So so he's getting very upset about his uh, TFI image. TFI uses a very attached to the image. They try to portray a very good image. Um, and they don't like uh, when people attack their image. Um, so that's five points for TFI. So Michael Jackson is a TFI user. And that eliminates INTP. Holy shit, we're done here. That eliminates INTP and ISFJ from the list. And that will just leave him as an INFP. Um, so, wow. I didn't expect to be done so quick, but let's watch a little bit more. But <clears throat> T users are attached to like achievements, um, their image, whatnot. And you'll see that a lot with TFI users in their language or whatnot. They'll talk about it. Popularity. God awful, horrifying stories. I know. That are completely appalling. I know. Completely appalling. And so far from the truth. And it's made me to realize the more often a person tell a lie, the more times you hear a lie. I mean, you, you, you begin to believe it. Mm -hmm. if, you, if it's told often enough, you start to believe it. And it's, it's appalling the things that have been said about me, and they're completely false. There are so many. I, I normally don't write questions down, but there are so many. I didn't want to, to uh, forget them. First of all, I have been in this house uh, getting lit and getting prepared for this, and I've been all over the house upstairs when you weren't looking, looking for that oxygen <laughs> chamber. <laughs> I cannot find the oxygen chamber anywhere in the house. That, that story is so crazy. I mean, it's one of those tabloid things. Uh, it was completely made up. Okay, but there, you are in something there. There's a picture of you. Well, where did that come from? Let's, there, where, how did it get started? 
I did a commercial for mm -hmm. Pepsi, mm -hmm. and I was burned very badly. Mm -hmm. And we settled for like a million dollars, and I gave all the money. We built this place called the Michael Jackson Burn Center, uh -huh. and that's a piece of technology. See, that's, that's another TFI. He put his name on something, uh, Michael Jackson Burn Center. So yeah, uh, yeah, and um, he gave him away his money. So it's showing that he's people interest um, as well. So we're gonna put a point down for that. Um, we're just going overkill right now. We've already got enough points to call Michael Jackson INFP, but we just want to be very thorough with this. It's used for for burn victims, right? That. So I'm looking at the piece of technology. I'm touching it, feeling it, and decide to just go inside of it, just to hammer around. Somebody so I'm takes touching a, it, feeling it. So he's getting the SI experience from it. Touching it, feeling it, and then decides to go inside. So that's an SINE statement. The picture. When they process the picture, the person who processes the picture say, "Oh, Michael Jackson. He made a copy." These pictures went all over the world with this lie attached to it. Hmm. It's a complete lie. Why do people buy these, these papers and it's not the truth? And I'm here to say, you know, do not judge a person. Do not pass judgment on anyone unless you have talked to them one-on-one. -on -one. I don't care what the story okay, is. Okay, so that's some TFI there. That's real strong there. Do not pass judgment on anyone. Okay, all right. Do not judge them because it's a lie. But that story, you're right, that story, it just, it was like it had legs. It's crazy. It is. Why it, would I want to sleep in a chamber? Well, the, the rumor <laughs> was that you were sleeping in the chamber because you didn't want to grow old and that that it's was stupid. Gonna, it's yeah. stupid. It's completely <laughs> made up and I'm embarrassed. I'm willing to forgive the press and forgive oh, anybody. Look at you know, I was taught to love and mm -hmm. to forgive, which I do have in my heart. But please, um, don't talking, believe these crazy people. He's talking about okay. what's in his heart, TFI some more. Oh, Michael Jackson, you're going TFI heavy, baby. Okay, okay let's go down this. Did you buy the elephant man's bones no. when you were trying to get them? That's another stupid story. Uh -huh. I love the story of the elephant man. It reminds me of me a lot. You uh -huh. know, I could relate to it. It made me cry because I saw myself in the story. But no, I never asked for the elephant man. Where am I <laughs> Where am I going to put some bones? I don't know. And why would I want a pair of bones? <laughs> I don't know. But so where did, where did that come from? Someone makes it up and everybody believes it. Mm -hmm. You hear a lie often enough, you start to hear it believe. enough, you start to believe it. Yes, and people make money selling tabloids. Yeah. All right. Just recently there was a story, and I know one of your attorneys held a news conference. There was a story about um, you wanting to have a little white boy play you <sighs> in a... In a, in a Pepsi commercial. <sighs> that is so stupid. That's the most ridiculous, horrifying story I've ever heard. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, why? Number one, it's my face as a child in the commercial. Oh, TFI. My face in a, what was it called? TFI. Okay. I was little. Mm -hmm. Why would I want a white child to play me? I'm a black American. I'm proud to be a black American. I'm black American. I'm proud to be a black American. There's more TFI. That's our 10 points of TFI. American. I am proud of I'm my race. Proud. I am proud of who I am. I'm proud I of who I am. Of pride of who I am indignant. Woo! She didn't it's hear like this. An Oriental Ooh, person to play that's you another T. That's another T E comparison right there. And it's like you look at him. Oh, he's going authority mode. He's going authority mode. Look at him You're switch over. American. Do you want to get an INFP or ISFP uh, angry? Cross the FI. I am proud of my race. I am proud of who I am. I have a lot of pride in who I am and dignity. You hear that? Woo! It's like that you wanted an oriental like person to play comparison. you as a child. Does that make sense? No. So Got please, em. people, stop believing these okay, Michael, horrifying then, stories. Okay, Michael, then let's go to the thing that is most Woo! discussed <laughs> about you, I think, is the fact that the color of your skin is obviously different than it was when you were younger. Yes. And so I think... Uh, it has caused a great deal of speculation and controversy as to what you have done or are doing. Are you bleaching your skin? And have, are, is your skin lighter because you don't like being black? Okay, number one, there, as I know of, mm -hmm. there is no such thing as skin bleaching. Mm -hmm. I have never seen it. I don't know what it is. Well, they is. used to have those products growing up. I used to hear, always use bleach and glow, but you'd have okay. to have about 300,000 right. gallons. To okay, number one, this is the situation. Yes. I have a skin disorder that destroys the pigmentation of the skin is something that I cannot help, okay? But when people make up stories that I don't want to be who I am, it hurts me. Ooh, more so, TFI. When people make up stories about me, um, oof, 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 oof. Michael Jackson, boy, they hurting that FI and that TE, boy. Ooh, 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 and it's coming out. It is. 
it's a problem for me, okay? I can't control it, mm -hmm. okay? But what about all the millions of people? Let's reverse it. Okay. What about all ooh. the millions of people who sit out in the sun? Ooh, 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 let's reverse it. Um, that's N-E right there. That is N-E. Let's reverse that. That's some N-E right there. Ooh, let's reverse that. Mm -hmm. To become darker, to become other than what and they... And that's a T-E comparison. So, um, that's another point there. Wow, Michael. They are. Mm -hmm. We're getting excited Nobody here. Nobody says nothing about that. So when did this start? When did your the color of your skin start to change? Oh boy, I don't. Sometime after Thriller, mm -hmm. around off the wall Thriller. Sometime and what around. What did you then. think? I mean, you. It's in my family. My father said it's on his side. I can't control it. I don't understand. I mean, it makes me very sad. I don't want to go into my medical history because mm -hmm. that's something that's private. But mm -hmm. that's the situation here. So mm -hmm. please, when people see so, something okay, like I that, I just want to get this straight. Yeah. You are not taking anything to change the color of your skin. Oh, God, no. You did not purposely. We're trying to control it, and using makeup mm -hmm. evens it out because it makes blotches on the skin, and I have to even out my skin. Mm -hmm. But you know what's funny? Why is that so important? You mm -hmm. know, that's, that's not important to me. I'm a great fan of art. I love Michael I'm a great Angelo. fan of art. Mm -hmm. I'm I had a, a fan of Michelangelo. T-E-F-I like nuts talk to him or read about him, I would want to know about what inspired him to become who he is, the anatomy of his craftsmanship, not about who he went out with last night or why Ooh, he decided look to... Look at him. Oh, look at that. He's so nice. TFI like crazy. To sit out in the sun. So what's wrong with... I mean, that's what's important to me. How much plastic surgery have you had? Very, very little. Mm -hmm. very, you can count them on two fingers. I mean... Let's say this. If you want to know about those things, all of the nosy people in the world. Mm -hmm. But once we book. say it, once we say it, we don't have to say it anymore. Read right? my book, Moonwalker. It's in my book. Uh -huh. You know, let's just put it this way. If all the people in Hollywood uh -huh. who if have all had the plastic people, surgery, if they would... Ooh, 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 ooh. So that's a what if. I mean, he's, he's probably said some other abstractions. But we just caught one right here. Plastic surgery have you had? Very, very little. Mm -hmm. very, you can count them on two fingers. I mean, let's say this. If you want to know about those if you things, want to know. all of the nosy people in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but once we book. say it, once read we say it, book. we don't have to say it anymore. Read right? my book, Moonwalker. It's in my book. Uh -huh. You know, let's just put it this way. If all the people if in all Hollywood the, uh -oh, uh -huh, there we go. who have had plastic surgery, if they went on vacation, <laughs> there wouldn't be a person left in town. Oof. Mm -hmm. Abstraction. I think you might be right. I think I am right. <laughs> I think I am right. The empty. So did you start, okay, did you start having plastic surgery because of those teen years, because of not liking the way you look? No, not really. Not really? No, it's only two things. Really, get my book. It's no big deal. Okay. Get my you book. You don't want to tell me what it is? You had your nose done, obviously. Yeah, but uh -huh. so did a lot of people that I know. Yeah. And so, so do a lot of people that I know. you hear all these things about you, and there have been... More than we but are. I've never had my cheekbones done. Never had my eyes done. Never had all that my lips done and all this stuff. They just go too far. I mean, it's mm -hmm. crazy. But this is something that happens like every day mm -hmm. with other people. Are you Talking pleased now with people. the way you the people way you're focus. pleased with anything? People I'm a focus. Yeah, it's part of who I am. Part of who I am. The and so TFI. when you okay, look so in the done. mirror now, we've been done for a long time now, but we just want to have some fun because Michael Jackson is going on the FI rant. Uh, so, Michael Jackson, personality database has you as an ISFP. That is incorrect. You are an INFP, and we noticed very early that you recant your experiences or past very well. Um, you talked about internal sensations like um, seeing your father and him making you sick to your stomach. Um, you are affiliative. You often uh, apologize for talking about your father. Um, that's an affiliative thing to do. Um, you respect authority and your dad is some type of authority to you. You are introverted. You are responding. You stayed on topic. Um, you didn't change anything um, or interject her much in the conversation. So you're primarily responding and you have informative language, very passive role you take in a conversation, not forceful at all. Uh, you give extra information. Uh, it's vague. Um, it's up in the air. Um, you have a ton of TEFI. A ton of TFI, um, and you are people focused, and you are abstract. Michael Jackson, you are an INFP and not an ISFP. Personality database is wrong yet again. And let's go laugh at personality database again. So, um, 
830 people were wrong um, and 86 people were right so yeah um, comment below if you agree with our analysis or not and let us know my goal and mindset and we're out